your personal website, you you say that you're the rediscover the rediscoverer of test driven development. I, I think many people would think of you as the you know the, the, the test driven development being you know being your invention and your or your team's invention at C three at least. Um, oh no, it, it predated C three okay. by by a good bit. So that okay. was that one was definitely mine. So the reason I say rediscoverer. Um, when I started talking about test-driven development, I'd have these old programmers. Uh, I'm old now, so I can use the word old. Would come up to me and say, well, of course you work this way. Yeah. If you didn't know what the outputs should be, you have no business programming. Yeah. We used to do that all the time. And for me, the genesis of the of the idea, like the germ of the idea was a book I had read as a kid. My dad was a programmer. He'd bring home books about programming. I would read them obsessively. I was that Silicon Valley kid. And one of those books said, how you program is you have the input tape and you know what the output tape is supposed to look like. So you type in the output tape and you keep programming until that's the output tape that you get. So I'd had that seed planted when I was nine or 10 or something like that. Uh, then I wrote the first uh, uh, X unit style testing framework. And somehow I put those, those two ideas together. So th that idea had been around for a long time. Then when I started talking about TDD and giving it a name and was talking about it more, then people said, oh, well, Project Mercury, the, the software for the yeah. Mercury spacecraft was written exactly that way. We didn't program until we had expected outputs. Yeah. Of course not. And then we would program until the actuals match the expecteds, and then we could go to the next thing. And you would never change the program without first changing the expecteds so that you knew when you were finished. Of course, you would work that way. So, yes, like it, 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 it came to me in a way. Uh, and the, the granularity that people tend to use in TDD is much smaller than, than it was in those earlier days. But yeah. the workflow, that inversion of the, of the artifacts, test first and then code, that was wisdom from the 60s. Yeah. And, and that, was ex ex that was something that you, you, that you knew beforehand. You, you didn't find that out later. You, that, you, you didn't say, oh, I thought I came with, up with that, but somebody, somebody else did. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, I mean, this isn't science. Precedence doesn't really matter. Sure. For us, no, so. no, no, yeah. So, 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 sorry, I wasn't. I wasn't trying to belittle that. I was. I was just wondering about the genesis. I, 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 I was. Um, uh, I, I, I came to that 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 learn. So I, I read the. Um, I read some of the stuff from the nineteen sixty eight engineering com software engineering conference, and Alan Perlis has a long bit, you know, that talks about test driven development, you know, in, in some detail in nineteen sixty eight, and and then I heard about the Mercury stuff, which was even earlier, sort of late fifties, yeah. early sixties kind of tech. And uh, it's absolutely fascinating, but I, but I, I didn't know that, you know, I, I learned test driven, I learned the idea of test driven development from you really. Well, I, I was doing, I was doing automated testing and a version of continuous integration before I read the extreme uh, programming book. But one of the revelations for me was actually X unit. The first time I saw, I, I was working in Java by then and, and I saw J unit, I thought, ah, oh, I get it now <laughs> because we'd, we'd still been trying to build tests that were too big and too complicated. And as soon as I saw Jay, Oh yeah, of course, you know, that's so, so much more elegant and simple. Yeah. The, the, the decision that had massive consequences was representing tests in the source code of the language that you're testing. Yes. Always before I'd seen lots of testing tools and they always had some kind of scripting language. And, and uh, when I, when I went to, I built some kind of testing framework, maybe four or five times yeah. before I, I uh, wrote the first S unit in small talk. And 
that idea of let me represent the tests in the source code. Yes. It's not, and it's, it's kind of a, it's kind of a cheat because if you look at the, at a, a class full of tests, it looks like Java in JUnit. Yeah. If you look at JUnit tests, it looks like Java, but the semantics are completely different. Yes. It you're never going to call this function and then call that function and call that fun. It's it, it it syntactically it's the same, but semantically it's completely different. And it's yeah. up to your test runner to figure out how to tease that apart and make sure that setup gets called and make sure that teardown gets called regardless. And 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 sequence things and build a new instance for every test and all, all that stuff. So it's it it looks like Java, but is not really Java. But that one decision meant that it was much more approachable for programmers. That it was the the implementation was in a sense almost free. Yes, as opposed to implementing a separate uh, uh, scripting language, and that the many of the tools that worked with uh with your source code would also work with your tests yes. w without anything else so th but that was uh that was a novelty at the time to represent the tests in the source code of the language that you were testing once once i you know and i make you make decisions like that in a hundred times 99 times out of 100, they're going to be terrible decisions <laughs> for reasons that you have no idea of at the time. But that's that's the one out of 100 that really made a huge difference. Yeah, yeah, and, uh, absolutely. And and that was the, the thing for me as soon as I saw that. I thought, oh, of course, that's brilliant. That's really, that's that's exactly how this ought to work. And and well, you... it's always working on at the time we, we were do, we were doing. We were doing quite a lot of automated testing, but we were doing it at a higher level. And it, as I said, it was ugly and too complicated and all this kind of stuff. And then as soon as we saw that, we just dumped that and just start, and started doing proper test and development and, and made all the mistakes that people do when, you, when they're learning TDD. But but it was it was great. So that was, yeah, that have was have you tried before. TCR yet? I haven't. I, I've I've watched you doing it on some of your videos on your on, on your channel and uh, and and, and, and link really link to appear here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we, we'll definitely do that. Um, it's it's an interesting idea and and make and makes sense to me. I, I kind of work that way anyway. <laughs> it's you know it's I kind of do a manual version of it almost. Is that if the test fails, you start again. And but yeah, they're very yeah, cool. absolutely. So, so for the people who haven't run, run into it yet, it's a variation on or a, a replacement for the TDD workflow. TDD workflow is this inversion of write the test and then write the code that makes it pass. Um, so in TCR, there there isn't it isn't that uh, rigid when you write the code and when you write the test. But if the tests ever don't pass, you revert to the last time the tests all passed, yeah. which creates this intense incentive to work in teensy weensy little steps. Yeah. And you're thinking, okay, well, here's four. And, oh man, the first time you, you do it and you write five lines of code and you're like, all right, that'll be good. Poof. And it just disappears. And you're like, what? No, no, no. That's I know that was right. So you write the same five lines of code, and poof, it just disappears. And and eventually you realize, oh well, all right. So I got five lines of code to write. If I write this line of code, that'll get me some feedback. If that doesn't work, yep. then I'm definitely on the wrong path. And then I can write these two lines. And so the 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 wheels really start spinning about the order in which you do tasks which oftentimes we take as a given i've got this whole thing i have to stuff it all in my mouth all at the same time and and it's never true there's yeah. always ways to take bites but tcr is a way of of uh I'm not going to say forcing, incentivizing you to take small bites. You can still write five <laughs> lines of code all at once if you want to, if you want to see them disappear and then <laughs> try it over again. Uh, it, it really hasn't taken off in the same way, um, but that's okay. I'm used to ideas taking a while to cook. So yeah, 
yeah it's it, 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 it it's a nice it, it's it's a nice idea uh, definitely i i'm um the, the the only bit that i'm skeptical about is that is is making test first optional <laughs> I, I, well I, yeah and I, I, I sometimes i i i'm joking really because because sometimes mm. practically it is but but mostly what you know the thing that i value probably most highly of all is the way it gives me that feedback on my design by trying to you know do the outside in thing of design you know designing by writing a test and so right and, uh, you know that that's one of the that's the one of the things that i'm just completely addicted to oh it's it's <laughs> yeah people so one of the things that bugs me when people people say well t test driven development is not a testing technique the hell it isn't of course it is <laughs> yeah it's in the name it's in the artifacts you create those are tests they pass or fail uh Oh, somebody somebody said we shouldn't talk about test passing or fail. We should talk about the system passing or failing. I don't know. I got to think about that one. All right. So the, it is a testing technique, but it's also a design technique because it yes. gives you fast feedback on the logical design, the API design of, of what you're working on. It's a... Uh, uh, a specification technique, absolutely, because yeah. you have to write down your assumptions in a way that otherwise you wouldn't. But it's also uh, uh, Xanax for programmers. Yeah. It's an anxiety reducing technique, which yeah. is what's most important to me yeah. is, you know, it, it just has fewer side effects than all the chemicals you, you can ingest to, to get the same thing. It, it's a teamwork technique, a, yeah. a collaboration technique. Uh, sure, it's all of those things all together. So if you don't want to use it, it's fine. I, you know, I'll get people walk up to me and say, oh, well, you know, actually I don't do TDD. I'm like, why do I care? I'm not your, <laughs> I'm not your priest. Um, you don't you want mean, to do you mean, it, it's you, fine. You, don't, don't, you, you don't get a dollar for every test written. <laughs> I, not, I, I have yet to discover a way to collect on that one. And I sure wish I had, but there you go. Um, yeah. If I, if I had, I probably wouldn't have near the motivation to keep going the way I, the way I have. So it's a blessing, I suppose. Um, I, 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 you you do you work test driven or or not fine, but you're going to have to solve all those problems. Yes, you're going to have to solve the testing problem, the yeah. the validation, the double checking of the behavior of the system. You're going to have to solve the design problem. You're going to have to solve the documentation problem. You're going to have to solve the collaboration problem, and you're going to have to deal with your anxieties. All those problems are still going to be there whether you test first or not yes so how you deal with them is fine or the degree to which you deal with them that's up to you but tdd is a way that like in a in a kind of a tractor sense that uh, you have to go a ways to find a better way of dealing with all those problems mm -hmm.